are playing on special teams. He puts that much focus on this phase of the game. This year, kickoff starting at the 35-yard line. Daywan Scott has it saved. And before we get our first play from... So it's a delay of game. First play of the season. Exactly what the first play was going to be ran. All right, now they get a playoff. Dysert over the middle, and they basically get the penalty back. FBS football in rushing. Four receivers set. Another quick hitter, and it is caught at the 30. A flag comes down. Defense leading with a crop ahead. 50-yard penalty. It remain or automatic first down. The formation at the linebacker position. A great hit right there, but the officials deem that, although you don't want those to rack up through the course of a game. A couple of quick passes to begin the game for Miami. Here's another in practice earlier this week. Bednar gets that snap off well out of the gun. And the... Dicer over the middle, incomplete. This is Brown with the fair catch. He makes it at the 12-yard line. He was sacked 39 times in 13 games. This is going to be Miller trying to left end. He's pushed out of bounds. Jake Stoneburner, a tight end in the past, to wide receiver. Second offensive snap for Ohio State, and it's an option right side. Miller breaks a tackle. Miller. Crossing route incomplete. That played on that offensive line last year. Tackles need to be really athletic in Urban Meyer's offense. Second down and a bunch. They fake it to Bourne, and Miller almost broke the first wave of this for Ohio State. Three runs from Braxton Miller. Now he wants to throw. In trouble. Throws late and out of bounds. Guy fans, Ben Buchanan. Now a senior punting the football away. Dayon Nunley, one of the corners, calls for the fair catch and makes it. And then a punt, first time with the ball. Justin Sims. Trying to establish something on the ground. Formation for Miami. Dysert wants to throw. Has a man wide open. It's Harwell. Out of bounds. At Offense. First time they look to Harwell. And he comes up with 42 yards. They want flag down on the field. Dicer passes complete. Defense, Defense. Defense. number that, that decline. Play results in a first down. Dicer little dump off. This is Harwell again. Tackled quickly in the backfield next to Dicer. He wants to throw. Slant incomplete. Dicer in trouble. That's Nathan Williams who loses him, and the pass is incomplete. There. Rack, I'll get your thoughts in a moment. Braxton Miller, his second series. He wants the deep ball. It's incomplete. Got to go ahead and take those chances. Miller now 0 for 3 passing. Here's Hyde with the carry. Third down at 6. Ohio State their second possession. And Miller completes his first pass of the year. Will it be an act deep? <laughs> Zach Dicer, what's new? Wants to throw the football. Incomplete receiver formation. Dicer has time and has a man. That's Scott running free. Scott's got a chance. What kind of speed does he have? Westbrook checks into the game in the backfield. He's number five. Dysert has him open in the flat and overshoots him. But second and goal. Dysert right side. Pass is complete. Oh, Dysert wants the quick snap. Dysert into the end zone. Caught. Incomplete. Play officials a chance to take another look at it. You can see that Harwell has the ball, but he never makes the move to secure it. Then it hits the ground, and by the time he corrals it, they go through with the kick. They get a little bit more up tempo and keep that Miami defense on its heels. 
kick from the 35-yard line goes into the end zone, and that's for sure. Hyde next to him in the backfield. They try the right side. Miller, nobody open, tucks it down. And still on his feet. Oh, everything opening up for him. Left side, Miller out across the 40, thrown out of bounds by field. And Braxton Miller just completely reverses the field. And they are so the farthest penetration for Ohio State on offense. Option football to pull a little bit. Once they have a couple successful plays, you'll see everybody go a little bit faster. Easy selection for Coach Meyer. Really simple transition for him. And a senior punter in Ben Buchanan, but a freshman snapper in Bryce Haynes. He's been picture perfect so far. This punt chases Nunley back to the five yard line. It made it inside the 15 each of their first two times with the ball. Not trying to get out of the shadow of their own. Dicer to throw. Has a man. This is Scott again, and it is caught. Ball. Bradley Roby, number one right here, who keeps fighting. He sees that he's beat. But that, this play is third down and eight. Geiser lobbing one up, nobody home. Closest man. At Bradley Roby's foot here, you can see that right foot looks like the toes are on the white. Opportunities today. After further review, the receiver had possession of the ball, but first touched out of bounds. Therefore, the pass is Murphy gets it off, not a particularly good kick, but it gets a great roll. Wow, dangerous, picking up the ball in the bounce, Devin Smith, big step, look too have much. Been, they've been trying to make that big play, absolutely. Miller, little safe pass, incomplete. Inside run, high. Gang tag. They haven't even been across the 50 so far today. Miller wants a bunch, has a man. It is incomplete. Here in this punt formation, both John Simon and Carlos Hyde, two of the stars for Ohio State, are on the field. And that punt will go into the end zone. It'll be always been a dynamic returner, but going to be in the backfield as well. He is an outstanding football player. Nick with the only Red Hawk in the backfield. Five receivers. Three-man rush, pass is complete to Scott. Keep your eye on through the rest of the game if Dicer continues to go at the Ohio State linebackers. Andy, see the final play of our first quarter. Dicer over the middle, incomplete. Caught close to the sticks. Offense struggle, he's seen the defense, which was supposed to be the strength of the team, give up 165 yards through the air in one quarter. Definitely room for improvement on both sides of the ball. It's been a while. Still a lot of football left to be played. Carlos Hyde, his best run of the day. Out. Buckeyes. Quick snap. Miller keeps it. Miller knocked out of bounds. Carlos Hyde as the tailback. This time they fake it to Hyde, and it's going to be a pass caught by Corey Brown. Ohio. You had a big hole for Corey Brown in the passing game. And look at how quickly they're up to the line of scrimmage and going for the end zone. It is. Oh, did he catch it? Yes. Touchdown, Devin Smith. The catch of the year. Be the best catch we see at Ohio Stadium all season. Unbelievable. Urban Meyer was looking for somebody at the wide receiver position to step up play there by Ohio State. Drew Basil, extra point is true and all. That's how you're going to bring the football down. Sometimes you go up and that's the only opportunity that you have. Look at the vertical number one. I think now the Urban Meyer era has officially begun. That'll be a touchback. Throwing, throwing, and throwing. 22 passes already for Dicer. Make it 23. That is incomplete. Touch pass is deflected and incomplete. Two tight end formation. Dicer on the run, complete. You know, Andy Cruz has generally been a pretty dependable receiver. You can see. Billy Brown There's a flag down on the field. Line drive kick. Field. Illegal shift. Kicking team. That five-yard penalty will be assessed at the end of the kick. First down, Ohio State. 
Ohio State, four plays, 83 yards on their last drive. On the ground, Carlos Hyde powers to midfield. Play fake, quick hitter, caught by Brown. Out of Let him make plays in space. They are playing so quickly. Inside run and Hyde. Miller again looking for the big play. Stoneburner with the catch. In space. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Back. Stoneburner playing his familiar tight end spot. They don't give it to him. Instead, it's a run and hide to the five. Right side rollout. Touchdown, Ohio State. And that is good. Did him to have that breakout year as that featured tailback for him. And boy, did he get his season kicked off in the right fashion. Returnable kickoff. Daywan Scott around the right side, steps out of bounds. Game, this is not going to happen all afternoon. Thank you, Lisa. On first down, that just saw number 43, Nathan Williams. He's played the majority of this game. Pass is high. It is caught. There is a flag down on the field. Illegal formation, offense, five men in the backfield, five-yard penalty, repeat, second down. Here in Columbus, Dysert wants to throw, pass is complete, looking for some running room, Scott, out of ground one. Incomplete. Buckeyes may come after this one. Now they throttle it down. High kick, fair catch called for and made here in the second quarter. Miller wants to throw it. Into coverage, incomplete. For the sack, he was sacked 39 times last season. High, stone high. Third down pass is caught. You're starting to see that pay off here in the second quarter. Inside run, a little bit of shake there for Hyde. And especially you got this spring football now, which I think is really advanced since I played. These guys are having the ability to learn a lot quicker. Racking changer for us on offense. Play action. Ball is ripped away, loose on the ground, and Ohio State keeps it. It's Miller. That's just an outstanding play right there. See, he's just trying to step up in the pocket, and the ball gets batted out of his hands, but he's the one that runs up about couple of times haven't seen that so far designed quarterback run Miller with room inside the 15 down to the nine we get an outstanding block for Braxton Miller right there that opens up the hole all kinds of green place of power football quick snap and high forces his way inside the five down to the four the ball in the hands high touchdown Ohio Basil is the touchdown a moment ago. Nothing really complex about it. Now, just great blocking up front. By Another touchback in practice on Thursday. Out of the end zone, about 55 yards. He might have a future on Sunday. Good. Oh, Bradley Roby's a speedster. We know he's great in coverage, but I want to see a corner come up. There is talent here in the state of Ohio. Simon, good pressure. Dicer gets the pass off. Dicer, plenty of time. Nobody open. Now late, a man comes open, and it's going to be a first down. And a receiver by the first down markers. Which is likely not these on this staff right here that, you know, maybe you missed on me. Maybe I should have gotten that offer to the Buckeyes. Dysert looks one way. Allows these receivers time to get into open field, uh, and Dysert's a great thrower. And they say the ball comes loose late. Ball rolls into the end zone, and three times they've had the football. Miller, nowhere to go. Wes Williams brings him down with... Officially given up a sack so far in this first half. 
complete over the middle. Out close to, to be able to cut half of that and get back into a manageable situation. Ohio State has done that. Clock stopped, 120 left to play. Here in the first half, Miller in trouble. Oh, dangerous, just throws it up for grabs. Is this live? It is. It's a live football. Miami has it. Or as Ohio State jumped on, and now a flag is down on the field. The quarterback was while throwing. He attempted to throw a forward pass. Therefore, we have intentional grounding on the offense. It will be a spot foul. Loss it down. State has all three timeouts remaining here in this first half. Designed run for Miller, and Miller out across the 45, still on his feet, tackled from behind. At on him, that would have been tacked on to the end of the play. That's a new rule this year around all of college. 21 to three. Miller, dump off, catch. In Tons of time, and Miller says, you're gonna give me the first down, I'll take it, steps. Miller wants a bunch, has a man wide open. The pass is late and incomplete. <laughs> Movement on the line. That'll go against Ohio State. Ball start. Offense. Number 52. Five-yard penalty. <laughs> Remains third down. Third and 15. Miller almost stacked by Williams. Trying to make something out of nothing. Throws it up for grabs and it is caught. Flagged down on the field, but that's Evan Spencer with the grab. And I like the fact that they took a shot downfield. We've seen how, already, how athletic these wide receivers are being able to get up and make a play on the football. Excellent job by Evan Spencer going up over the top. And if there's anything on that play, it looks like defense to me. The very last play of the first half, Ohio State had the ball first and goal from the one. They decided instead of kicking a field goal to go for it. And this is Carlos Hyde, who just has no chance. Try and go, try and go over the top, and he doesn't make it there. Take a closer look, and it really, it's a great call. Remember, this was after Don Treadwell called a timeout to make sure he could kick it off from the 35 with raindrops falling down here at the horseshoe. Returnable kick. Ohio State starts from the 10 yard line and out to the 35 yard line. We would prefer this 82 degrees. Corey Brown comes into the backfield and he's going to be the pitch man on the option. Doesn't get it as Braxton Miller keeps it. Miller off to the races. Stutter step. He's got a chance. Touchdown. In the offense. The explosive with it. This was just textbook right here. You see Braxton Miller string out the defense, and right at the last second, Krishan Dupuy, the corner for Miami, was the only person. He had to make a decision. If I go after the quarterback, do I go after the ball carrier? And he made the decision to go after Braxton Miller, and that little stutter step right there <laughs> was huge. Create the separation to get... Returnable kickoff. They want Scott can't make it out to the 20. Good. Oh, that they need to get better pressure on Dicer. Red Hawks start blitzes and get the linebackers in Dicer's face. Three levels of that defense this year. Third down throw for Dicer. Gonna have to run it. Dives out close to the first time that Dicer has run the football this afternoon. Savino unabated to the quarterback. Can he bring him down? Dicer gets it off. Tensile grounding. Offense number four. Ups and down foul. At the spot of the foul. It will be second down. Thought that they were going to bring some from the linebackers. Look at Savino right here. Number six comes in. Nobody blocks him. Dicer's scrambling just to find some open space. I think this was a good. Wraparound handoff to Robert Williams. 
defensive end. <laughs> It'll be a little rough early on, but you want to get him on the field to pass rush. Third down and 30. Win in college football with speed. Ball is loose. Ohio State trying to jump on it and score a touchdown. No signal yet. Not by the officials, at least. Touchdown, Ohio State, guys. Yeah, this one's on the long snapper. That ball way too high for the punter. Miami coming in with two guys that had not long. David Zalant and Bryce Leewald. Very inexperienced at that position for the Red Hawks. One on offense and one on special teams. And Dave Zaland is the long snapper we were talking about that has not seen any action prior today. They had two long snappers that were watching the, the sidelines, the coaching staff as well, full of excitement. Returnable kickoff. Daywan Scott with a full head of steam gets out to the 27 yard line. This is Kerry Combs. <laughs> he coaches the secondary for the Buckeyes, but he's also very intimately involved with special teams as well. 32 now. This has been a 35-0 run for Ohio State. Harwell with the... Oh, they settled down, and once they started moving the football, it doesn't seem like anything's stopping them now. Veteran Dysert throws that out of bounds. Simon coming off the edge, grabs him by the back of the jersey, can't bring him down, and the catch is made by... 22 pounds. He's got a chance to be a high-round draft pick when he decides to leave Ohio State. Another catch made by Freddy for the Red Hawks. Some of the names. We've got other very recognizable names that have both played and served as a head. Tim Beckler was a player at Miami. Harwell open. Touchdown, Miami. Utah, Florida. Never had more than three losses in his first season at any place. Armani Reeves on the return. Ohio State can absolutely do that. Wow. Thanks, Lisa. Last year, Ohio State finishing below 500. With the Florida Gators, Chris Leak, Tim Tebow, guys running. Art guy. And now he's got some experience after starting as a true freshman a year ago. Third and 11, passes high. For the Red Hawks, he's going to return this Ben Buchanan punt. It was a really emotional night and a great moment in Big Ten Network history. Don't get any ideas. Joel Foreman was a special case. Dysert breaks the first wave of tacklers and completes the pass. I'm 20, 30 yard, 40 yard run plays like Braxton Miller, but just enough to keep a play alive. Designed rollout. It'll be a nice addition if they can try to get some running game going for Miami. Now on cue this. Dysert in trouble. Simon on his heels. And it's intercepted. Oh. And got that left arm on him, too, and it was able to bring him down, force him into the bad play. Here's Zach Boren with a chance in the passing game. And the big main tailback in today's game. They take it to him. It's going to be an end around. Devin Smith trying to get to the edge. And Smith. Blitz. It's complete. Corey Brown. Can run the football, but for the rest of this game, I'd like to continue to see the balance. Miller makes the first man miss. And he stumbles. Doesn't have to get him a whole lot of reps. Designed quarterback run. Guyton trying to get to the marker, and he does. Oh, hit hard at the end of the play, and a flag comes down. It was over. Personal foul. Late defense, number 21. 15 yard penalty. First down. Well, Taylor just coming into the ball game. That's just a little bit of the inexperience right there. If you see Kenny Guyton, Eric, I think they run the exact same style of offense. You've seen Kenny Guyton's got the ability to run the football. It's not going to change to be a passing offense. By the sleep so much better at night when you've got a lot of confidence in your backup quarterback. This is a run. High down to the 13. Bad snap. It's high. Someone's going to have to fall on it. 
that traffic didn't show you the rushing yards for Braxton Miller, and that's where he's going to really earn to go in this state, which is so rich with talent. Westbrook, the true freshman, is third down. Dicer throws it up. Half so far today for Miami. The snap is a good one. Murphy gets it off. Not a great kick, but comes back on. He was replaced by Kenny Guyton for a couple of plays last time Ohio State had it. Hyde staggers forward, has the first down. Boilermakers well, trying to catch a break with their quarterback play in recent years. Seems like anything that can go wrong has gone. He's really improves his footwork as a passer. Throws it to Jake Stoneburner. Was Blitz is picked up, but Guyton still goes down. Ben Buchanan. Nunley's going to stay away from it. And it's going to be downed at the five-yard line. Like he did, but if they could continue running the football, especially with all the changes that they've... Number 71, half the distance to the goal, remains first down. It's been all over the line throughout the course of the game. Big time hit. Pass catcher doesn't go down. That's at his other stops, but felt like here at Ohio State, they had so many traditions, he didn't need to do it. And he said some of the traditions. Ohio State has usually always played great defense, and I think they're poised to play great defense again this year. Picked off Travis Howard with the ball, and Howard out of bounds. And just as we start talking about the offense, the defense makes a big play. But turnovers has been a staple for Urban Meyer and everywhere. Calling the signals. Carlos Hyde behind him. He gives it to Hyde. And Carlos in there. Touchdown, Ohio State. Nothing but extra points. This is sixth. And Ohio State, brand new day here at Ohio State. Urban Meyer putting his stamp on this program. Another kickoff for Turnable. Scott wrapped up and brought down during this summer. Westbrook, nowhere to go. Play action on third down. Passes incomplete. Look. Returnable punt. Corey Brown still on his feet, and Brown tackled at the 40 yard line. Kenny Guyton still in at quarterback for Ohio State. Wants to throw. Passes complete to Devin Smith. If something were to happen to Braxton Miller, they're not slowing down much. Down to tempo, no huddle offense. They've realized that the offensive players have used more water during the week, and they've actually. The exception of the quarterback, Braxton Miller. Yeah, they've been doing a great job. And, and Urban Meyer, he also makes it a. Guyton senses the pressure, steps up in the pocket, and completes the pass. Catch out in the flat is grind out yards, especially in a crucial spot in the ball game through the running game. This is Zach Boren, and Boren down to the two. Give it to him again. High snap, Boren has the ball, and Boren a touchdown. On a pass from Terrell Pryor at Indiana. He's always been involved in the passing game, but you know, you talk to Urban Meyer, you talk to Tom Herman, they're going to have him involved in the. We'll come on. Hands it off to Justin Sims. I know it's quite the coincidence, but it's still <laughs> incredible. Left hander gets it out to Sims. And just swarmed. Is that going to be a helmet to. Holding. Offense, number 71, penalties decline, results. Delayed handoff to Williams. Boucher on third down. Wrapped up and he is tackled behind the line of scrimmage. And the Buckeyes have had great defensive tackles over the years, that's for sure. Armani Reed. 
look what he brings to the table for this offense. If he grows to be a better passer, this is going to be a dangerous offense. Here, of course, just a couple of years ago, starting games at quarterback as a true freshman at Ohio State. A 368. Be a whole bunch of home games this season for Ohio State. Eight of them. Bryante Dunn now at Miami doing wonderful things. The defense was going to settle down, get some stops, get some turnovers, and all that came together, especially back in that second quarter. Right. This is what all of college football is about, and especially for Ohio State, not eligible for the postseason. That will, in effect, be their bowl game, so you know the Buckeyes will be saw. You watched the game last night. Michigan State has a tenacious defense. It'll be a very good matchup for this offense here at Ohio State. When recruits come in that end up being four and five star, and these coaches continue to develop them, there's not going to be very many easy games on your schedule, especially in time. The backup quarterback come in, that generally means three and out. But he's been able to get plays through the run and pass here. As this Another carry, Smith. Tackles, they've got a stable of guys that they should feel comfortable with. And ready to come out of the ball game. He said that his turnaround as far as mentally has been astronomical. And that's been a huge part of the success of the offense, especially in this game that they need to. Done is what. Especially when they find success, you saw how quickly Braxton Miller got the offense going. First college touchdown, Bryante Dunn. Extra point is good. Fourth work to do throughout the afternoon. Buckeyes second most points since 2008 when they hung 73 on Eastern Michigan. They'll have talent on that team. Austin Boucher still in at quarterback, hand up right up the gut. And it looks one final snap 